Motorhead. You just called a band out. No, I, I love that band. I'm not mad at them. But we, we played a show with them at um, the Palladium. Are, are you familiar with the Palladium? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm familiar with uh, that. Yeah, Mushroom and Head. We, love them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one of my favorite bands, biggest inspiration. Um, I So we got off at a show on the upstairs stage, and we were like, oh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. And then we found out shortly after that they were playing the downstairs stage. We were like, okay, cool. So, yeah, we'll play our set and then eventually go downstairs and play. And then uh, 20 minutes before we were supposed to set up, the Palladium opened the downstairs for the national bands. And everyone that was upstairs charged downstairs, and no one was left to watch us. So we played play for a dozen people. It was one of those shows where the locals got dicked. The, the Palladium was being cheap. They wanted to book a tour package. I'll call it maybe not fuck them. And... Um, they wanted to book a tour package, so they booked a bunch of locals on the upstairs, and there was a huge crowd there. Well, the problem they, 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 were so, they, they, they took our ticket sales and they paid the, the nationals. There, there were so many uh, touring artists that they had to open the doors early enough yeah. to accommodate everyone that was on tour. So maybe but they also had so many locals that they couldn't yeah. like do one after another. They had this sort of had two going on at the so same much time. The venue either. Whoever. Yeah, I, I wasn't. I, I definitely wasn't mad at the band. I was maybe I was mad at the venue a little bit. I, I mean, mean, it's it a certain band thing. Like, and who knows? I mean, it, that was years and years ago. At this point, that, that's one that does stick out in our minds. Is right. Like, wow, that huge opportunity that just got missed like crazy. Right. No, that's fucked up. I don't. I don't think that's the band at all. So I, I wouldn't worry about calling out the band on that. But. I mean that's oh, that's no, the no, that's no, the venue. No, I mean, playing the bands. Yeah, that. that's no. definitely the venue. I mean, uh, promoters and venue owners are some of the most fucked up people out there because they're only worried about you know the the bottom line, and that's what they should be worried about. It's a business, but you also should worry about bands too because without without some of these clubs that are out there without without these locals, they wouldn't be able to bring the national through. So. It, you know, you get it's fucked. Great that, that the fans and the attendees, they, they don't understand that. Right. No, a lot of people no, don't understand and then how rough it is. I mean, we don't ask bar owners to come to our house and serve drinks for free and that, you know, and and then, you know, screw you over, basically. You know, musicians want to get paid and get taken care of and the right thing done by them. And that's how it should be. I mean, you shouldn't have got fucked like that, basically. So you know, we're about fucking 15 years too late for that that gravy train. But, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's about uh, just the love of the game, so to speak. Yeah. Right. What do you think? Well, he was gonna say something. I, I was going to say something. It, it was slightly unrelated, but we, we did have a show where um, a venue did treat us very nicely. And um, uh, when our guitar player, Steve, was still in the band... <laughs> He was like the one guy who was like a week, week away from his 21st birthday. We got treated with a 24 pack of Narragansett. And our green room was in between the, you know, the main room where all the fans went to watch the band and the stage. So the sound guy had to go back and forth. So we're all drinking beers. And um, the way we had to divvy things up was there was one extra beer for the, for the underage guy. And he was refusing to drink it. I'm sorry, I'm spilling the news on the radio right now. But, refusing. Uh, he was refusing. He didn't want to get caught. He didn't want to get in trouble. And um, I was like, Steve, it's going to be fine. Who cares if the sound guy sees that you're drinking a beer? Mind you, don't, party. don't worry. Steve's a big drinker. Steve's calling him out. <laughs> He's all in the so, so anyways, he, he was being a, you know, he was being cautious. He was being responsible, unlike us. So... I, like a, a manly man, I stabbed a hole in the can, put my thumb on it, then I took my thumb off it when I was aiming it at his knee, and I told him he had to drink it or let the whole thing pour on his knee, and he had to shotgun this year. <laughs> that's funny. That's awesome. So, I mean, that that's cool. It sounds like you guys have a lot of fun, um, that, and you guys are a pretty yeah. tight group of guys together, so that, that makes being in a band uh, an easy thing and a good thing, and... Um, it's got to be, otherwise it's, uh, you know, what is it all worth? Otherwise it's work. Right, right, and it's stress, and that, who who wants that? I mean, you guys definitely got a cool project going, and, you know. 
it's just one of those things I think uh, going to work out well for you guys in the future. And then I hope the new album is going to be a success and gets as much as, you know, outbreak. Let's hope so. Yeah. Well, I, I think it will be a, I mean, I'm proud of it. I think it sounds great. Search patient zero. And that's the number. Um, hey, Jay, I, I, I sent you the songs again. Could you tell me if uh, they popped up? Yeah. And or if they're yeah. It looks like, I, I just sent all three again. There's three of them. Let me check it yeah, out. Yeah, so we'll, yeah, whatever you can play. Okay, yeah, it's it's. It, I, I'm gonna look at it when I when we go to break. So I'm gonna break here in just a minute. So I just want to thank you guys for calling in, um, taking the time out to talk to me and come on the show. So the show is gonna be um, Aaron probably for the next week, and it'll always be on the archive. So I'll send you guys a link when the show is over, and if you want to send it out and whatnot, that's cool. Um, I got a big station. I'm on up there. I'm on Granite Coast Entertainment. It's actually up in Maine, so this will get heard up in that direction. And you know, I'm sure people are gonna know who you guys are up there as well. So. I, I definitely awesome. appreciate you calling in. I just want to give you guys an opportunity here to, I know it's confusing with the name and stuff. Like I tried to do some research on the band and that's how I seen all of this other stuff popping up. So if you want to just let people know what the easiest way to find you guys, go for it. Patient Zero Metal. Look us up on Facebook.com. That's www.facebook.com. Dot com slash patient zero metal and that's the number zero not the word you can also find us on Bandcamp. i think we're just slash patient zero there so that's you know bandcamp.com slash patient zero you don't need to know about www right so right again. yeah i Those don't know what... also on uh, on Bandcamp, you can get our album for free uh it asks you for a price you can give us money we want your money but if you don't want to give us money you can get it for free so just download it for free Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. So go download the album. The new album's coming out. I'm going to play another track, and hopefully I'll get these other ones to download properly. And uh, we'll premiere those songs as well. So, again, thanks, guys, for calling in. Uh, stay on the line for me just a minute, and I'm going to play Kill the Pain. Jay Stone, rockmetaltalk.com. It's time to get your cold car, cause it's far right here, raw. 
It's time to fill a shot with your family. Yeah, it's a coke high. This bar right here rocks. It's time to do a shot with your family. Hey, this is Dave Alvin from the band White Trash, and you are listening to Rock Metal Talk with Jay Stone. I love this show. I love Jay. Keep listening and rock. So 